The world is full of various magnificent monuments that are wondrous examples of human architecture, though not all of them have stood the test of time. From Ross Island to Kings Park Psychiatric Center, here are some places in the world that have been reclaimed by Mother Nature herself. Number 17. Hashima Island Located just 9 miles from the Japanese city of Nagasaki, Hashima Island is just one out of a total of 505 uninhabited islands found in the Nagasaki Prefecture. Also known to the locals as Battleship Island and Ghost Island, Hashima once had a mining facility called the Mitsubishi during the later part of the 19th century and the 20th century. Not only that, but it also contained restaurants, a hospital, and even a school. During the turn of the 1960s, Japan began to phase out coal as it started to rely on petroleum and the whole island closed down officially in 1974. It wasn't until 35 years later, in April of 2009, the island was reopened to tourists. Number 16. Whitley Court Built in the 19th century, this massive mansion was eventually left in solitude after an accidental fire broke out back in September of 1937. It started in the bakery and the staff failed to put it out, since they used, quote, an ancient fire pump that was connected to the fountain in the following image that you see. Only one wing of the house was damaged, yet its owner, Sir Herbert Smith, decided to sell the property after the insurance company would not cover the damage. Eventually, it was sold to scrap dealers who took what they wanted from the house and left most of it stripped. Number 15. Danush Kodi, India This little abandoned town is situated on the southeastern tip of Pamban Island in India. The town was full of people and had a substantial population up until the events that unfolded on December of 1964. It was completely decimated when the Ramzawaram cyclone swept through and swallowed the whole island and it became marooned. This was thanks to the winds that reached a speed of up to 170 miles per hour and tidal waves that were 23 feet high or 7 meters. The government of the state of Madras declared that the island was now an official ghost town that wasn't suitable for living in. Number 14. Dadi Park Belgium's Dadi Park opened back in 1950 and it was geared towards much younger children that started out as a recreational park and later into an independent amusement park. Over the years, the park had a series of safety incidents and after a particularly bad one, the park was temporarily closed for some major renovations back in 2002. This was finally done after years of complaints from attendants and a steady decline in foot traffic. Surprisingly, the park remained closed and has remained so up until it was demolished back in 2012. Nature began to take back the park once it closed and and local skateboarders use the grounds for skating and graffiti art. Number 13. Ross Island The very first settlement on this island was established all the way back in 1788, and it is located in the Southern Andaman Administrative District in the archipelago of the Andaman Islands. The island became a base that was also a penal colony and housed a jail. Many of the people living on the island willingly left after an earthquake struck in 1941. After that, the island was captured and occupied by Japanese forces. The island is now used as an Indian naval post, but has no civilian population whatsoever. Number 12. Hotel del Salto Built all the way back in 1923, La Casa del Salto del Tequendama was a mansion that was later remade into a hotel during the 1950s in the country of Colombia. It sits right on the edge of a cliff where it overlooks the Tequendama Falls on the Bogota River. The hotel was eventually abandoned in the 1990s due to the fact that the river was contaminated. In 2013, the hotel was reopened to the public as a museum, though tourists are skeptical of visiting due to the local lore that says the place is haunted. Number 11. Villa Epecuen. This village can be found in the Buenos Aires province, where it was once a gathering point for visitors coming in from all over. Its establishment was sometime in the early 1920s and flourished in the following decades. At the height of its popularity, the town was capable of holding up to 5,000 tourists, what with its various hotels, lodges, and 280 businesses in total. On the day of November 6, 1985, a nearby dam broke, which then caused the dike that was shielding the village to break, causing the entire town to flood. The citizens were evacuated, and the village was never rebuilt. Though technically considered abandoned, there is one sole inhabitant named Pablo Novak, who was born in the town in the 1930s and returned 25 years later once the water had receded. Number 10. Sarajevo Olympic Bobsleigh and Luge Track Opened in 1982, the Sarajevo Olympic Bobsleigh and Luge Track was built for the purpose for the 1984 Olympics that the country of Bosnia and Herzegovina would host. Once the Olympics were over, the track was still used for events such as World Cup competitions up until the siege of Sarajevo in 1992. Most of the track was still standing, but there are sections that were damaged during the time of the siege. 
Bicycling and graffiti artwork are a couple of the things it was once used for up until recently when in June of 2014, the track was restored and is being used for summer luge training. Number 9. Krakow, Italy this ghost town that is located on a hilltop in the Italian province of Matera was first established all the way back in 540 BC, where it was called Montedoro. When it first began, the town was actually, quote, more of an outpost, and it wasn't until 500 years later that it really began to grow. Because of the town's geography and environment, it suffered from natural problems such as flood and landslides. This forced the townspeople to evacuate to the valley of Krakow Peschiera, and ultimately, an earthquake in 1980 forced everyone out of the surrounding area. More than 1,300 Krocesi people went and migrated to North America after all that. Number 8. Pripyat, Ukraine The citizens of the town of Pripyat were forced to immediately evacuate their homes in 1986 due to the events that unfolded in the nearby city of Chernobyl. They had to act quickly and left most of their belongings behind. The city has been taken over by the land's local foliage, with buildings being overrun by greenery. The abandoned town remains closed off to the public, and photos show the eeriness of how abrupt everyone had to drop their lives and leave. Number 7. Kings Park Psychiatric Center Established in 1885 in Kings Park, New York, the Kings Park Psychiatric Center was actually known as the Kings County Asylum the first 10 years that it was open. It was built in order to help other nearby institutions in Brooklyn that were suffering from gross overcrowding. When the center was at its peak performance, it was providing the whole site with food grown in their garden and produced its own heat and electricity. Unfortunately, the center began to suffer the same fate as the other institutions it was built to relieve. As the years went on, its various buildings shut down and the entire center was ultimately closed closed by 1996 after 111 years. Number 6. Garnet, Montana The town of Garnet, Montana was founded sometime back in the 1860s here in the United States, and in its prime had around 1,000 individuals living here during 1898. Originally named Mitchell, the now ghost town was built after the area was found to be rich in gold. Some 20 years later, the entire town was then abandoned once all the gold had ran out. A 1912 fire broke out and managed to destroy half of the town, which was never rebuilt. The remaining structures that are still standing are pretty well preserved that an estimated 16,000 visitors come to see each year. Number 5. Colmanskop, Namibia Thanks to a worker named Zacharias Lawala, back in 1908, the town of Kolmanskop was founded in the Namib Desert that is located in the southern region of Namibia. While Lawala was doing some work for his superior, August Stouch, who was a railway inspector, he came across a diamond. The town was then established and flourished as it had its own hospital, school, and casino. Eventually, the town began to decline and was declared officially abandoned back in 1954. Most of the town's buildings and structures are slowly being reclaimed by the desert's sand, and it's now a hotspot for tourism and photographers. A special permit is required to visit the site, along with a guide, where visitors can walk into houses knee-deep in sand. Number 4. House of the Bulgarian Communist Party this abandoned building, left on a solitary mountain, was once the central hub for Bulgarian politics when its construction was completed back in 1981. For the next eight years, the House of the Bulgarian Communist Party was utilized until the Iron Curtain fell in 1989. To this day, the building stands alone and is completely empty. Most of the roof's paneling has been swiped by thieves and has exposed the interior to the freezing temperatures outside. The government wants to return the building to its once former glory to drive up tourism in the area. However, it doesn't have the necessary funds to do so as of this moment. Number 3. Aral Sea Located right in between the countries of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, the Aral Sea was once a grand lake that was considered to be the fourth largest in the world. The lake has been steadily draining over time, with some interruptions, all the way since 1850. The process was hastily sped up as the Soviet Union had water diverted for its irrigation programs. As the water level declined over the years, the lake split into four separate lakes back in 1997. Geographical images taken by NASA's satellite imagery in 2014 revealed that the eastern basin of the Aral Sea is all dried up, which is now referred to as the Aralcom Desert. Number 2. Wonderland Amusement Park The Wonderland Amusement Park was Beijing's way of trying to match and cash in on the hype that Disneyland was experiencing. The park's construction began sometime during the 1990s, but it was ultimately halted in 1998 because of financial problems with the land and local officials. Ten years later, it was an endeavor to try to revive the project's construction, but again, it fell through. Local farmers got use out of some of the land as they grew their crops, but that was until 2013 when the structure was torn down. As of 2015, the Battling Outlets Mall now sits on the once former remnants of Wonderland Amusement Park. 
Number one, Island of the Dolls. Known as La Isla de Muñecas to the locals, the Island of the Dolls can be found in the southern region just near the center of Mexico City. The island's history dates back all the way to the 1950s when its owner, a man named Don Julian Santana, began to hang up all the hundreds of dolls scattered throughout the place. Santana did so in order to ward off any evil spirits after he began to encounter, quote, inexplicable situations and was left terrified, specifically to keep the spirit of a young girl at bay. The island is only a accessible by boatmen that are willing to take tourists over to it, but there are those that refuse to do so due to superstitions. 